quick wig review. Uh, this is going to be a review on the LW Drew lace wig uh, from Bechet. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I got it from Elevated Styles and I'll put everything in the description box where you can order it and so on and so forth. First of all, I just gotta say I am in love with this wig. This wig has got it going on. Look at it! <laughs> Like, I was so excited to get this wig, especially because I'm traveling this weekend, and I really don't like doing my hair when I travel, so I really, I was going to bring Selena with me. I may still pack up Selena, but this is what I really wanted, and I'm so glad I got it right on time. So, uh, how did I get to this wig in the first place? Well, one of my subscribers, NerdMom920, shout out to you, she sent me a message referring me to this video that I can look at because she watched one of my videos and she saw that I was having problems with getting a natural looking hairline for lace fronts. I'm, I'm very very apprehensive on the whole lace front thing so I usually just do the half wigs and have my own hair in the front. So she referred me to a video and it was to Bridezilla Martina. She did two videos on how to create a natural looking uh, hairline on your lace fronts and let me tell you these videos were so helpful, very innovative ways. I mean, to the fact that you can take tweezers and pull out the hairs and uh, make a more natural, uneven looking hairline because most hairlines are not straight like most lace fronts are. Or even like how to cut the baby hairs in the front. So she did all of that and it was very helpful. Now that's all good, but how I got to this wig is because she used this wig for demonstration in that video and I just fell in love with the wig when she did the demonstration and she did a personal review on this wig and I just had to get it had to get it so I got it and I love it one of my favorite things about this wig is the cut the shape of the wig actually it looks like my cut but in a longer version so it's kinda cool that I think my hair is gonna end up being this kinda shape as my cut grows out so that's pretty cool so I love the shape of this wig. I'll turn around for you guys so you can see it. So I love the shape. So if you do get this wig, I don't think that you need to do any extra tweaking or anything like that. Another thing that I love about this wig is the fact that it has different hair textures, different curl patterns in the wig and in the back it has more of a kinky coily texture, more like a four category and in the front it has more like a three category so that's great because that's how most of us are we have different textures on our head so it definitely gives it more of a natural effect because all the curls are not uniform because I doubt that there's one natural out there who has like uniform curls all over so um that's another plus about it and I just love the fact that I could just make it big and huge and it looks like my hair I do prefer this over Miko one of the wigs that I did uh, show you guys in my first wig video and a lot of you loved Miko but one thing about Miko is that it's not a lace front so it had bangs in the front so if the wind blew it was just like uh yeah wiggy so um, I like the fact that this is a lace front and the fact that I'm wearing this as a lace front so I, I am very comfortable with wearing this as a lace front only because of her techniques because if, if it wasn't for her techniques, I probably would make this into a half wig, just like the rest of my wigs. So definitely go check out Bridezilla Martina, and just amazing. Um, she's also transitioning to natural as well. Also, Muffin is my lover, as I'm pretty sure a lot of you know about her and her wig reviews. So she, she's, she's the one that taught me about the flesh-colored uh, stocking caps for lace fronts. So that, you know, I used to wear the black stocking caps. But now that I know about it, flesh colored is the way to go when doing the whole lace front thing. Uh, it has two combs in the front, one comb in the back, and I don't use the combs in the front. I just use the bobby pins on the side to pin the lace down. Um, she did the same thing in her review, so I kind of copied everything she did. <laughs> um, so, you know, the combs can kind of just tug at the hair in the front, and you don't want that. Also, the wig is a bit tight. Um, it's a bit small. It is. So if you have a really big head, then it may be too tight for you. Um, but it's pretty snug. It's not snug to the point where it's uncomfortable for me. 
But I've seen some reviews where one of the complaints was that the wig is a little small and snug. But um, that's pretty much it. And I think that I'm going to get this since I'm wearing it as a full lace. I'm going to get it in another color. I think I'm going to play around with some blonde hair with this wig. Seriously, because I, I love the fact that I am wearing it as a full lace. This is a big deal for me, guys. Seriously, because... I felt that I would never be caught dead outside with a lace front because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> so again, just check out her videos and check out this wig because I am loving it. Loving it. Um, I'll show you the hairline. I still have some tweezing to do because I, I cut more lace so I need to kind of start all over again. But um, I'm going to make more room in the front so that it does look a little bit more natural. And my baby hers <laughs> I didn't comb them down but I did make them but I think I need to make some more baby hairs as well too on the side but um definitely go check her out and with curly wigs you can get away with a lot of imperfections um, in the front of the hairline because it's all over the place so yes I am loving Drew and Drew will be traveling with me this weekend <laughs> So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you later.